Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I am so chuffed today because I have completed the Junk Journal July and I am so happy with this little junk journal. It's a concertina journal. If you haven't seen it, how I, I made it, there's a few other videos and I'll put the links in the description. I was following Meg Journal's prompts and um, all 31 are done. So let's just open it. Um, I had already shared up to number 25. So number 26 is the first one that you haven't seen. So let's see, 26 is round the back. And that was 25, so here we are at 26. And actually, I um, I did it along with 27 because 26 is warmth. And I found this picture of a bowl of soup in a magazine. And there's nothing better than coming in on a cold day to a nice bowl of soup to give you warmth so that's what I thought of for that and because it follows on the air bowls of soup in this house are made by my husband he makes gorgeous different kinds of soups um, my favorite is the is the lentil soup ham and lentil but he makes all different kinds so I've put every day I'm thankful thankful for the homemade soup well makes and also for the delicious coffees because he, he brings me coffees <laughs> into the room into the crafty room here when I'm when I'm busy playing with my paper so warmth and thankful happy with those pages and the next page the next prompt is stencil so in the background here I stenciled some flowers um some leaves, some hearts on the background and I just did a little modern collage to use up some of my modern scrapbooking pieces of ephemera. Um, I have a whole box of more modern style um, bits and bobs and I'm desperately trying to use them up and sometimes there's just a little bit of a corner somewhere that I can put a few bits on. <laughs> so I thought that finished off that stenciling quite nicely. Um, 29 is growth. So uh, I so, sort of struggled over this one and I thought, well, you know, I just maybe want to put a nice um, saying on it or just a nice affirmation um, for growth. So anyway, you are unique and a little bit of collage on the background for that one. Doodle is number 30. <laughs> I don't know if I should share this doodle. So here is my doodle, self-portrait July 21. Now, I hope that I don't look like that. <laughs> but, you know, maybe. I know for sure that I don't have black hair, um, but I couldn't for the life of me. Now it's a sort of light brown with blondie bits at the moment. Um, it's certainly not that colour, but I just couldn't get the colour and I just decided to give myself black hair. So maybe 30 years ago it was that colour, but not really. It was always a kind of mousy brown. So <laughs> trying to do better day by day was just a nice little thing that I found in my box. Um, and I thought that was just quite nice there. And just a little bit of blue just to pick up the background that was already there. So um, so that's my self-portrait. Um, this is just a page because we were at the back page and this was sort of a spare page. So I just sort of finished it off with a flower that just kind of picked up the colours from the other page. So that's not really a, a prompt. But this is the final prompt, Reflections. And all I've done is I've just put um, Junk Journal July 
Meg Journal's daily prompts started 1st of July 2021 and completed 3rd August 2021. And I found this quote that I thought was quite, uh, quite good. Your life is not yours if you worry what others think. And I think that is, um, that's quite a good quote. I think especially like um, for someone that does these YouTube videos, um, it's actually quite a thing. It took me a long, long, I mean, I've been blogging my makes and just putting still photographs on and doing the occasional uh, video where I wasn't talking, um, just doing unboxings and things. And I've been blogging for 12, 15 years and sharing and, and, and doing lots of crafty things, working for the magazines. But I have to say that these talking uh, on camera talking and making these same um, videos you are sort of putting yourself out there um although people are really really nice i get gorgeous lovely comments that just makes me so happy but you know i know that occasionally somebody or i might do something that somebody disagrees with or i might you know i don't know it's still to happen, but it's always in the back of your mind that maybe what you're doing isn't good enough. I'm not looking for praise here or compliments. I'm just saying that's what I was thinking, that maybe, you know, people don't like what you're doing or, and they just want to tell you. So, you know, to say, look, I didn't like that journal that you made there. <laughs> like, oh well. Move along. <laughs> Move along. Go and tell your granny. <laughs> so anyway, that was my thoughts and my reflections on that. Number 31, reflections. And I'm just going to tie a nice bow here, if I can. I think I've got it. Um, yeah, a bit longer. So that's that journal. All completed. Thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Thanks for joining me. And um, yeah. I don't know if Meg does prompts at other times of the of the year or whether it's just a a July prompt. That'll do we. And that will join the other journals on the shelf. And um yeah, so if you've liked this, um, a thumbs up would be great and um, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.